welcome once again to my channel Techie Tech Place and uh, further more on this series uh, streamlit series I am going to tell you about this side menu bar development and on this side menu bar development uh, I think uh, basic I have already covered but I am going to tell you more about how to develop the dynamic pages using this uh, streamlit menu option okay and for our our own project we can use this uh, library and we can build our own project and we can design a multiple dynamic pages for each and every item selection and that's very really very interesting guys start doing the practice and uh, let's start the uh, coding part without wasting our time So guys, uh, the coding part we are going to discuss about and just I will give an overview of it, what we are going to today, we are, what we are going to learn to code and this is what I am going to tell you how to develop this multiple proceeding on the previous video developing the side menu bar and uh, under that uh, tutorial I am going to explain you about, I think we already learned about this on the side menu bar development and then after how to design the header menu bar here okay and bit the css customization also we understood okay the proceeding on the same video just uh, i'm just uh, i've uh, extended some uh, i've customized few of the features here to make it clear more uh, interesting this is what uh, i'm going to explain to you now here you can see they are the main side menu bar which i have already developed for my application you can see a bit customization I'm doing because I'm going to give away all the tutorials on, on this project only okay and this is the basic project which I have developed internally okay the similar way you can also write a code for, for you okay and I'm going to explain you about the streamlit library okay all about uh, each and every component each and every streamlit libraries what are the different apis are provided what are the input widgets are provided what are the other things provided everything i'm going to discuss about under this topic and uh, under this pandas library i'm going to tell you about the pandas uh, features how the how can we use the panda library for our own project and we are going to discuss about the open cv even how to visualize how can apply the machine learning uh, machine learning things under the under our project actually I'm going to explain you each and everything uh, here only and math just to visualize your data okay we are going to use this matplotlib library which is nothing but a Python library and I will be explaining you about all these things here okay this is the an e-commerce dashboard I'm future once uh, basic thing is ready for us then after I'll be explaining you more about these e-commerce dashboards how to develop these e-commerce dashboards based on these above libraries okay now the first thing is that as you know how we are defining like custom pages like when I click this streamlit library op API preference API references visualization NLP and sciences opening as a custom as a header menu bar okay you can see the different dynamic pages are getting loaded on each and every item you can see even sidebar is changing the sub sidebar menu is also changing you can see here when we select this one this sidebar is changing according to this particular item the thing is changing here main body content is loading then after uh, the, what i'm going to teach you about the streamlit library further i'm going to create here i'm going to develop here then after i will be telling you the concept about the streamlit apis as well so that it will be easy for you to connect these streamlit library with your real-time project that's why my main target is to explain you in in the easiest way so that you can write the code in easy way for your own project suppose you have a very good idea for in your mind and you wanted to develop you wanted to apply all these streamlit libraries under your project then I think this will be the best suited project for you which you can apply under your project as well okay now thing is that uh, we can discuss about this coding part which i did uh, 
um, one hour before actually I was just working on this project and almost uh, this much is already completed till this I am going to explain you code wise as well from the code point of view as well okay then let's switch to code code editor okay now we have already understood the previous videos we have already understood how to create the sidebar okay and then after uh, how to make a function call for each and every pages that we already understood right this is the page which like suppose uh, on this side menu bar i have already changed this custom uh, we have uh, i have given a multiple uh, options here like streamlit library pandas opencv matlib and e-commerce dashboard and on each item i am going to call one function like take an example of the page streamlet under the page streamlet i am going to call this is the page streamlet this will be invoked okay and then i am showing one uh, uh, horizontal menu bar here i have created and i have given a bit css customization over here okay you can see how it looks like you can see this this page, this particular code is this one when i click on this system by default it is a uh, uh, index is in, index is given as a streamlit library only that's why by default it is opening okay and you can see what are the different items uh, selected item uh, menu bar i have created api reference visualization nlp science you can see and each and every on click events what we have decided here i'm not giving any icons for this okay and orientation is a horizontal and then after css part you can give the css if you want to see the complete code base and later i will be uploading to github from there you can get it the code but uh, that's not the best practice to get it you have to write your own code that is the best way to do the uh, coding practice i never recommend to go to the github and download the code and then after you do the practice this is the worst case for me i always write a code from start to scratch okay either you can take a help from the official website from there you can get a code base and then after you can apply your knowledge on top of those okay now the similar way what we can do here this is the side menu bar is going to sorry this horizontal menu bar is going to this piece of code is going to give you provide you this particular menu bar okay now how this expandable are opens i'll tell you these are the api references which is which i'm going to teach you since i've already developed i'm not going to explain you how this expandable is developed here but later on in later videos i'm going to explain you more about that one okay next to proceed that one today we are going to learn more about the streamlet first libraries okay which is nothing but write and magic write and magic commands and text elements under the write and magic command what we are going to learn how to print the how to print on the web page how to print the text how to print the numbers how to do the multiplication how to apply the your custom logics python logics which you can you give us some kind of inputs to the backend program and it renders the output on top of your screen how you can do that this is what we are going to learn okay now when i click on this api references when i click on this api references what i want to do i want to create one side menu bar as well sub side menu bar okay whenever i click on this visualization or nlp or science this particular sidebar should load according to this selected item okay the similar way for this api reference when i click on the api reference you can see i've created two sub items which is nothing but write and magic and text element write and magic write and magic related fields because this is a defaulted then how from the coding point of view what you can see just try to analyze this one as well uh, i will just okay now you can see here when i click what is the selection of this this menu uh, uh, what is the selection item for this menu bar api reference right and api reference where we are in which variable we are storing we are storing the selected streamlet okay then once this streamlet selected streamlet equals to api reference equal equals api reference then what i'm doing i'm printing i'm assigning on the front front side i'm just giving instruction to the front page you can use the sidebar with these many contents okay 
these many contents this is what i wanted in the sidebar okay now you can see here under this sidebar i have created a selected api reference okay and what are the items i've created magic and uh, write and magic and text element okay and these are the icons and these are the css few bit uh, css have applied to it okay now once this this is selected right and magic is selected i want to change the content how to do that one how to do that one just you can do you can apply this particular check here selected api reference equals equal right right and magic what you can do you can use the one existing library later we are going to discuss about this one st.expander right this is the right is nothing but it's a title for this expander okay similar way what you can do under this one since expander is started with expander is started here and under this in the you are going to write a code whatever you are going to write this will be showing under the body of this right title you can see here the first example st.write what i am using i am using the feature a function of the streamlet st.write what i am going to print simple text here example 1 similar way st.write hello world sunglass sunglass is nothing but here you can see how to put the emojis here you can see here there is a smiley I just load this piece you can see the smiley came here sunglass sunglasses you can see here multiple suppose you want to give uh, multiple emojis smiley look both the just try both the is there any emojis both the cake Look here how this smileys are changing, uh, how the emojis are getting applied. Under which? Under this right. Similar way, this is also text, this is an integer, this is also a string. Here I am going to amend the concatenate the strings actually. My name is Pradeep Kumar Singh, how it is done. Okay. Now, here we are going to show the panda, uh, panda data frame. How to, like suppose, what is panda? Panda is a library which provides the tabular structures database uh, data structures in form of tables okay we can store the data in the form of tables then how it is stored the first column the first column is nothing but column name second column is column name right suppose you want to change here uh, what is this this is serial number you can make uh, s number serial number and then after you can make each okay then refresh this page you will go here you'll see serial number each you can assign this is a list list of the data list of the serial numbers and this is the list of the ages which we are storing under this panda and we are printing this data frame under this data frame what we are doing doing here and simply you can store into one variable it's called nothing but uh, is data frame and this is data frame you can directly print here see here the same thing okay like suppose you want to print you want to print only the serial numbers how to how to iterate later on anyhow we are going to learn all these how to do the data manipulation on the pandas uh, data structures all those things we are going to learn on the panda uh, pandas uh, tutorial but a still bit uh, overview i'm just explaining to you as well here okay then what we are learning here how to use the right command of st to print the data frame okay this is how it is later we'll learn about how to manipulate the data frame okay the similar way this 
under this one, under this expand expander, how many programs you want to write? You can write your own logic as per your requirement. You can do the customization. Okay, and how to load the image and all everything I'm going to tell you later in the tutorial in this uh, Streamlit tutorial. Now, one more expander I've created is a magic here. You can see how to write an, another expander here. The same thing, same code, st.expander, title of the expander, and then after what should be the under the body, what you want to write. Suppose you want to write a code, how to write a code. You can just, simple in text you can give it. You can just see here, I've given this one. Okay, and I suppose later we are going to like I'm going to prepare this one. How to, uh, what to, uh, what are the different uh, API references we are going to learn under this text element. Everything I'm going to explain to you in next video. Okay, please subscribe my channel so that I can bring a lot of interesting uh, topics to you to clarify your doubts. If you have any doubt, you can. Uh, give a comment I'll for sure I will reply to you without any delay but make sure try to learn try to do practice more on this coding part so that you can also go with me how I am proceeding on my development thank you subscribe don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more in development